Hello, my name is Larry Merck. I'm the GIMP Wizard. Today we're going to be doing a nice digital painting. It should come out something like this. I was trying to play around with working on my waterfall effect and in the meantime I came up with this fun image to do. It's pretty quick and it'll give us a little bit of practice. As usual, I'm using my GIMP image editor, which is completely free. We've started out with a 600 by 600 canvas, which is nice because for making the waterfall I do like to be able to rotate it easily by 90 degrees and rotate it back and eventually I'm going to cut off the type of the picture by 200 pixels to make it a 3 by 2 ratio for my final canvas. So I'm going to start out by doing a gradient with the blend tool. So we're going to click on that and pick out our gradient and I'm going to pick one that's got blue for the ocean and that's actually got a green sky and the first point we're going to start drawing at is a Y value of 100, I'm going to drag the gradient down to the bottom and I'm going to hold down the control because we want to make sure it's perfectly vertical. So now we've got our background drawn in that quickly. That's how easy our lovely picture is going to be. I'm going to make a new layer and this is going to just be the background. Here we're going to just block in our rocks or whatever is in the background, whatever land we have. And in order to do that we use our paintbrush, we're drawing in black and the brush we want, I want a horizontal type of a brush so I'm going to grab this palette knife horizontal and let's go to our tool options here and set it to our, its native size which is 161 and now I'm just going to start blocking in the land we're going to start out right about here and we'll just come down here, the land is going to come in and at some point here we're going to have a waterfall that's going to pretty much go straight down and then we might have a pool of water somewhere in here so we'll see see whether this comes out alright but uh, we'll just play around with it now we're going to do our land from the other side and I'll have this one start up a little bit higher and then it's just going to come in any way we want it to and then here's our waterfall again it's going to come straight down pretty much and then there's going to be a pool of water and we'll have a river come off to the side something like that so we're just trying to play around and give you an idea of how we're going to make our picture so that easy we have our whole background but now for our waterfall it's actually nice to have a black background so the waterfall shows up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just fill this in in black this is going to be the background of the waterfall right here alright that should work quite well now I'm going to use Alt A which is a shortcut that I made to uh, do alpha to selection but again you can always use the uh, menus to get to alpha to selection if you have not made a shortcut for that and now we're going to make a new layer where we're going to put in our waterfall so I'll type in fall for waterfall and we're going to switch this so that I can use draw in white for my waterfall and we we can just uh, click here to draw the white because we already oops control Z undo I want to do control I to select the opposite so now it's just going to put the top of the waterfall in right there and then we'll be able to use our wind effect to create the waterfall so I'm going to do control A now that we don't need that selection anymore and there's the top of our waterfall and if we take our layer and we want to transform it by rotating it and we're going to start out and rotate counterclockwise then we're going to grab our filter and distort and go to our lovely wind filter which is going to create the waterfall and let's move this up so you can see what we're doing but mostly we don't have to change much of anything because we want the wind effect coming from the left and the leading edge is fine the threshold we don't have to worry about but this we want to make the waterfall a little bit longer maybe I don't know 30 or 40 long let's go with 30 and see how that works out alright I think that's plenty long maybe even a little bit too long but for the sake of argument we'll just leave it there and it might not come out perfectly we're just trying to 
give you uh, folks a quick demonstration. So we'll go back to our layer and I'm going to transform it and we'll rotate it back clockwise. And now we've got the waterfall coming down. As I say, it probably is a little bit longer than we'd really want it, but for now we'll just leave it that way. And now we're going to have foam at the bottom of a waterfall. So I'm going to say foam. And we want to paint it in white. We've just got to pick out an appropriate brush. And here we've got a smoke brush. And the smoke gives a reasonable effect. But we're going to want to make it a, quite a bit smaller. That's still way too big. So, so let's use the left bracket to make it smaller. All right, let's say that's about the right size. We'll put in a little foam down here coming up from the waterfall. And while we've got this layer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use filter and I'm just going to do a little bit of a blur. I guess we'll do a Gaussian blur real quick and say OK. So I guess our foam will be a little bit blurred. You could just use a normal blur. Probably would work better if it's a bigger, higher resolution picture. You might use the Gaussian blur to do more of a blur. And now that we've got that, I want to put some little bit indication of water in the water by painting lines. So let's add a new layer. And we're, we'll call it the waves in the water. Let's see, and I'm going to go back to our background to do the Alt-A, the alpha to selection, and I'm going to do Control-I to invert it, so that now we'll, we won't be painting over the black, we'll just be painting where the water is. The brush I want to choose is just something a little bit horizontal. When we want to make something appear like it's waves in the water, or some type of reflection on the water, Usually what you want to do is smear or smudge it left and right to make it look appropriate. Let's try to get the right size here for, let's see, we've got to make sure we're drawing on the right layer. We want to draw our waves on the waves layer. So now we're just going to put in a bunch of little waves here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to end up smudging from left to right and right to left to just as I say, give the appearance that it's water. So I'll we'll just toss in a few of these all over the place. Maybe a few lines down at the bottom here. And you don't have to worry about going over the edges because we've got the alpha or the selection area is just where the water is. Okay, so now let's do our smudging that I was talking about. We'll grab our smudge tool and we're going to smudge with a vertical. Uh, paintbrush and I'm just gonna make it really big so I can do it all in uh, one or two smudges I'm just going left then right and right to left and all that so here we've got a huge brush we'll just start here and we'll hold down the shift control key and go straight across to the left so we'll smudge all those lines to the left and then I'll hold down the shift control key and we'll smudge them back to the right and that did give the general idea of a little bit of water down there. And now let's put in our forest and grass and we should be about done with our lovely picture. So let's add a new layer. And this is going to be our forest. Okay. And to get the right color for our forest, let's use our color picker. And take a look here real quick. It's good to click sample merged. So basically you're picking, I'm going to do control A to select everything for now, but uh, so that you're picking from all the visible layers. So I'm going to pick the darkest green for our forest and we're going to do painting and I've got to pick a brush and there's actually a pretty standard brush that comes with it called forest right here. You can see it says forest and I'm going to draw with its native resolution which is 256 I guess. And now I do want to use our alpha to selection again so we only paint over the black area, which was the background. So I'm going to do Alt A to select that. But then we go back up to the forest layer to draw it in. And let's see what we come up with. We'll just start drawing this in. And we don't want to really draw behind the waterfall that much, but just we'll just 
go all over here and don't go crazy drawing over and over just block it in once and if there's some areas that are still darker and some lighter that's actually good because we don't want everything to get filled in solid one color all right so that's gonna be our forest and then we'll add a new level or new layer and we'll call that the grass and the grass we're gonna choose a more yellowish brighter color to make it stand out a little bit so we'll once again go to our color picker and we're gonna pick a color let's get a little yellowish all right that should show up very well but before we do that I'd actually like to smudge our forest a little bit and I'm actually gonna smudge it with our grass brush so I'm gonna pick this grass grass floor 128 by 128 first and we'll put it to its native resolution by clicking here and we've got the smudge tool and let's make sure we're on the forest layer so we've drawn the forest everywhere but really down here I want to smudge the forest and we're just gonna have that dark green smudged as a background we don't need to do anything much more and we'll smudge it down here a little bit okay that's the general idea and then we're going to go to our grass layer and we're going to paint with this and this should show up brilliantly we're going to start it down here and just go at different angles so that it looks like there's some contour to the land and once again you don't have to fill in everything having some blank spots often will give it a little bit of depth and now I'm going to go control A to select all because I want the grass to possibly come up over that water a little bit there and so I do want to allow the selection to see it's going to maybe come up right there over the water okay so now we've got our grass in and our picture is just about done but I did want to cut off the top part of it so we're going to say image and I'm going to change the canvas size the width is fine but I want to make the height only be 400 and I want to cut off the top part so I'm going to make the Y Now you would think I want to start at 200 but we've got to write negative 200 to make it you can see here it picks the bottom part of the picture and I'm going to say to resize all layers and then I'm going to say resize and we'll view and I'll make it so you can see our image in our image window right here fit image to window and I think we're done there's our nice picture not so bad for a quick fun picture you could spend a little bit more time and maybe do some more details and make it a more fun picture I hope you like this and you'll share it with all your friends please do subscribe to GIMP Wizard to see more of my videos on YouTube. And you can always go to DeviantArt, LarryMerk.DeviantArt.com to see all my paintings. Hope you have a great day. Goodbye.